Good afternoon from Red Vale RV. This is just a quick video to show you how to use power touch motor movers. This caravan here is a 2005 Luna. It's fitted with a very common motor mover, which you'll find on many English caravans of this era. You get the power touch remote and your electric motors, which are attached to your chassis down here. These give the uh, caravan the ability to drive itself with the use of a remote control, so it's great to park them into tight spots. Right, first off, what you'll need is a fully charged house battery, which we've got in there. The house battery powers the electric motors down here. We have our power touch remote, and we have our motor, motor mover connection handle, which we're gonna attach up to here shortly. But first, we need to make sure that there is power going to the motor movers. Most caravans will have an isolator switch tucked down here. This one has it in here, which says power touch main switch. We're gonna turn this clockwise. That has now put 12 volts down to our motor movers. If we turn that remote on now, we're gonna hear a clicking inside the camper and that's telling us that the remote has paired to the caravan. But first, we need to connect the motor movers to the tire. And that's what this handle here is for. On this particular model, we only need to engage one side. And there is a bar that goes the entire length of the caravan, which connects to the motor mover on the left-hand side of the camper. So, we're gonna grab this handle here. We're gonna turn it anti-clockwise. I'll try and hold it as steady as possible, but you'll notice as I move that, the motor movers move in and out. But we need to crank that right over as hard as you possibly can. Now I'm just going to put the phone down for a second. We need two hands. All right. Now that's engaged. You can see it's pushing against the tyre there. Now we can remove our handle. And now we can release the handbrake. I'm just gonna zoom the camera out a bit. The caravan is now held in place with the use of the motor movers. All right, we're gonna turn the remote on. But to turn the remote on, we're gonna push both of these on switches at the same time. The green light should appear at the top. Now I'm trying to do this with one hand, so I'm just gonna put the remote down. Okay, there we go. Those green lights. All right, now, the caravan and the remote are now talking to one another. So we can now use this to drive the caravan, whether it be forward or back. You can make it turn 360. It's ideal for getting caravans into tight spots. Now, I'll just take you around the other side as well by engaging one side of the motor mover it's also engaged this side as well. That is not the case for many caravans, but a, this one connects at the same time. All right, once you've finished moving the caravan, we just work that process in reverse. So we're gonna to come to a handbrake. We're gonna pull the handbrake back up because the motor movers are no longer gonna be holding it in place. We simply put our handle on the opposite side and turn it the other way and you're notice going to disengage. All right. Now the handbrake is holding the caravan in place and we can come turn that off. The remote will automatically time out after a certain amount of time. And there you have it. That's how you use power touch motor movers.